Five weeks to the day since the death of Michael Dean. Today, the NAACP is in Belton demanding answers. We're joined now with Fox 44's Kendall Green, live from the protest. Kendall, how's it going? Hey, Adam, just like you said, five weeks of the day was is since the death of Michael Dean. Uh, and folks here, they're just looking for answers. The NAACP here in Temple, they assembled this protest to make sure that folks are staying and giving the Temple Police pressure to give answers. I'm going to step out of the shot and show you exactly what's going on here. Now, it's been confirmed in recent reports that the 28-year-old father of three was unarmed when he was killed. And since that night of the shooting, Temple officers refused to give any information as to what led to the shooting. Now, in the community today, it's it's, it's making an effort to apply pressure to the Temple Police Department as well as Bell County's District Attorney, Henry Garza. Now, police maintain their silence, forwarding all concerns to the Texas Rangers who are leading this investigation. But today, like many others, the community members are wondering why there are no answers in the homicide of Michael Dean. Now, we're going to have a full report coming up tonight where we'll talk to several of the folks that we've discussed um, in this shooting. But for now, reporting in Temple Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.